This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Moses Lake Police have released surveillance video from inside a gas station where a fight broke out January 16th, leading to shots fired about a block away. A massive public lands bill passed its last hurdle in Congress on Tuesday and heads to the White House for a signature. State Representative Tom Dent of Moses Lake is sponsoring a total of 15 bills this legislative session. The Lake Roosevelt Raiders played a tight tilt on day one of the State 2B Boys Basketball Tournament at the Spokane Arena against the Liberty of Spangle Lancers. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Moses Lake Police have released surveillance video from inside a gas station where a fight broke out January 16th, leading to shots fired about a block away. Minutes before shots were fired just off North Stratford Road, Moses Lake Police say Gabriel Ruiz Balderas and his brother entered the Circle K gas station. Surveillance video shows the two brothers at the Fountain Drink station when two other men pull up in a silver minivan and enter the store. The two men walk directly up to the Balderas brothers and begin punching the two brothers along with a third uninvolved man. Customers in the store watch as the group continues to fight with several of the men slipping on the floor due to the spilled drinks until the two men who instigated the fight run out the door and back into their van. The Balderas brothers continue back out to their Chevrolet Malibu. Surveillance video shows the Malibu with Ruiz Balderas in the passenger seat following the van south on North Stratford Road out of the gas station parking lot. Moses Lake Police say at least seven shots were fired from a handgun out the front passenger side window of the Malibu on West Knowles Vista Drive about a block from the gas station. A witness reported to police seeing the Malibu speed off down West Ridge Road. Ruiz Balderas was arrested Monday and is charged with drive-by shooting. He remains in Grant County Jail on $100,000 bail. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The low-profile microwave hood combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at More Furniture in Ephrata. A massive public lands bill passed its last hurdle in Congress on Tuesday and heads to the White House for a signature. The Natural Resources Management Act sailed through the Senate two weeks ago by a 92-8 to 8 vote and passed the House 363-62. to 62. It's a collection of smaller bipartisan public lands measures favored by Washington legislators, conservation groups, and outdoor enthusiasts. Both Congresswoman Kim Schreier of the 8th District and Congressman Dan Newhouse of the 4th voted in favor. The act includes phase approval for the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan, a measure to ensure adequate irrigation, habitat, and drinking water for decades to come. I firmly believe that the Yakima Work Group are a model for the rest of the nation to follow to address divisive issues. I invite all of my colleagues to come see for themselves. This group represents a diverse array of local, tribal, state, federal, ag, environmental, and private interests. And they've worked decades through decades of painstaking compromise, collaboration, and efforts to find solutions. So I rise to thank all of them for their hard work. In the Metau Valley to the north, mining will be excluded from the ecologically critical Metau Headwaters area. Most crucially, the act renews the Land and Water Conservation Fund, which has taxed offshore oil and gas drilling to pay for public lands and waterways since 1964. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. State Representative Tom Dent of Moses Lake is sponsoring a total of 15 bills this legislative session. Earlier this month, I-501 News reported on Dent's aviation and fish habitat legislation, 
But now the Republican is pushing two wildfire protection bills. House Bill 1188 would allow for the formation of rangeland fire protection associations in rural areas. The measure would foster a more organized approach to residential firefighting in remote locations. House Bill 1773 would provide a sales and use tax exemption for rural fire districts for the purchase of fire and emergency medical equipment to prevent and suppress wildfires. Both bills are in committee. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. The Lake Roosevelt Raiders played a tight tilt on day one of the State 2B Boys Basketball Tournament at Spokane Arena against the Liberty of Spangle Lancers. Both teams had their largest offensive outputs in the first quarter, which ended tied at 13 apiece. The Raiders led by three at halftime and carried that same advantage after three quarters of play before sealing things up in the final frame and claiming victory by the final count of 41 to 37. The two squads were never separated by more than five points in the contest. Sophomore guard Sam Wapato led all scorers for Lake Roosevelt with 16 points. The win keeps the Raiders' season alive as the number eight seed in the tournament and advances them to a game tomorrow night against the number seven seed Life Christian Academy Eagles. Reporting for iFiber One Sports, I'm Chris Hansen. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.